Hi Aries, this is Dee with Dee's Divine Tarot 411. So we're just going to go ahead and get more clarity and continue the rest of your reading. The lighting looks a little dark. Hopefully y'all can see me pretty good. Okay, so our last cards we were on where you were leaving, getting out of Dodge. Uh, you got spiritual magic, there's something missing, so it looks like you're going to use this wand to find what's missing, and spirit is bringing in the opportunity, must be because of your magic that you've been using, okay? So these uh, are the cards we were on already, now we're going to move on to the rest of your reading. Next card we got is the King of Wands, so this is a very magical night, the most magical night, master of magic actually and he's very very dynamic very powerful with that wand he's a go-getter he's a head turner life of the party probably one of the first ones on the dance floor when the music comes on just a fun all around good energy to be around so if this is you congratulations if you're going to be around the king of wands then you're going to have a really really good time okay we're going to see what this king has to do with it, with your reading. It may be that this king is offering you uh, maybe a date or a career opportunity, but you're leaving from something to see this king, it looks like. Okay. Next card we got is the queen, queen of swords. So this queen does not suffer any fools. She does not play. So she's all about her thoughts and the truth. And she will bring this sword to anybody who's lying or trying to deceive her or lie in any kind of way. That true sword, she will pull it out and use it. And so this king and this queen, this could be a date possibly. Or this could be this queen leaving a past relationship and is going to meet this new king coming in. That's what it looks like because she's leaving. So we'll get more clarity as we go along, Aries. Next card we got is the Hangman. So you're on a spiritual timeout. I'm not sure if you had this card already, but we'll do it again. So this is a spiritual timeout from the Creator. And this is basically you have to take the timeout. This is not, like, <laughs> negotiable. When Spirit asks you to take a timeout, he needs you to uh, reconnect with self, reconnect with Spirit, reconnect with, your like, your higher self. Uh, your ancestors, get back in center, get back in alignment with your spirit and with that realm because that's where your power lies. And, you know, you can try a whole bunch of, uh, like, major things. None of them will work. So this is more so kick back, watch a movie, relax, meditate, walk in meditations, just being just go ahead and be and listen to music just chill relax in this energy and it'll pass a lot faster and a lot of times I like my spiritual timeouts I be needing them I think I need one right now so after these readings that I'm doing I'm gonna take me a break <laughs> I need it all right so go right ahead we're moving on to your next half of your cards okay Aries next card we got is the seven of wands so you got the two of wands you got a king of wands so you're using your magic to get the job done, and you also got the Ace of Wands. So you're going from the two to the seven <laughs> to the king to the ace. <laughs> That's magical, and it's a progression. So you've been using your wands to take care of business, meet all your challenges, and get things done. So, looks like spirit has your back in this, you have your back in this, and you're meeting all the challenges. Go right ahead, y'all. Next card we got. Woo, the Empress. So, this is all about uh, Superwoman, the song that uh, Alicia Keys sings about. Uh, Superwoman. That's who she's talking about, the Empress. There's no one higher than the Empress. This is the most feminine, womany woman you can be. <laughs> and I love feminine women. I really, really love, really, really love, because it's, it's, she's like this, very uh, nurturing, very like Mother Earth-ish, uh, she's tied to Mother Earth, tied to Father Sky, the planets, constellations, 
she actually embodies the symbol of Venus, which is the planet of love. So there's nothing like this. And once you get an empress, you don't want to go back to anything less. I won't settle for anything less than the empress. And that's what, you know, I'm looking for in my next relationship. I will not settle except for her. And this isn't settling. This is getting like a dream come true. <laughs> Congratulations if that's you embodying that energy. Or if that's, you know, someone around you because they're going to nurture you, love you the way you deserve. And she treats her emperor, He gives, she gives him heaven on earth. Okay. And next card we got is the Page of Pentacles. So this is someone coming in with an offer. It could be some kind of value, uh, offer of their time, their energy. It's abundance that they're bringing to you. And abundance isn't always money. It's they're offering value. It could be an awesome conversation. It could be an offer of a date. It could be like where they take you out for lunch and you guys are chopping it up. So we'll try to get clarity, but this is definitely an offer coming in. And it could be that... Um, that king, maybe the king of wands that you pulled has kids, or maybe you have kids, or there's kids around, but it looks like this could be a date, you guys could be going out, all three of you, or possibly, you know, we'll get clarity as we go along, but this is an empress and a king, <laughs> next card we got. The King of Cups. So this looks like it could be a relationship forming. You got a King of Cups. A King of his magic. Very, very magical. This is someone who's a master of his emotions. This is a master of his magic. So he can get things done. Uses his will. Uses his magic. Like tippy top of his magic like a master of using magic and getting things done this is a master of his emotions very funny very easy going a joy to be around probably gonna like have you cracking up telling jokes so if this is you you're an amazing king or you have an amazing king coming into you empress and this could become your emperor okay aries looks like you could be leaving an old relationship to go to a new one all right, these are your uh, outcome cards. So this is spirit trying to get a hold of you. So you do got some swords. You're going from the four to the six, where it looks like you need to rest. You need to reconnect again with spirit. That's what it's trying to tell you. You need to get back connected with spirit and with your higher self, with God, the divine, and remember who you are, who you are truly. Sometimes we get in relationships and get around people and we forget our own power. We forget who we really are before we met them and they can suck that juice out of us. They can suck that joy out of us. So it's important to be the queen of swords and, you know, cut out what doesn't serve you it looks like that's what you're doing and you're going to a new situation to find what's missing okay your last card is five of cups so yeah this really looks like an ex-boyfriend or like uh, something that didn't pan out or relationship that didn't pan out and you know you're moving on from that it could be it just happened where you just had a breakup you weren't expecting the breakup but sometimes Things happen that we don't expect. So this is the uh, five of cups, and there's three cups spilled. So it could be three people, three opportunities, three things that happen that aren't going to happen anymore. And so he's very bereft and sad, and he's forgetting he has these other two cups behind him, and those are all he needs to build up to five more cups or you know all the way back up to the ten cups and that is wish fulfillment nine is the wish card ten is the finish line and what a beautiful card to get and so you can always build back up from what you lost so you need to turn around <laughs> how does that go uh, you got two cups still standing two cups still standing turn around you got two cups to stand and two cups to stand and turn around. This is all about changing your perspective. So if you're sad, you're, you know, depressed about a past situation, just know it's time to leave it. Leave it behind. And you're going to do that. And you have to get back in center with yourself to do that before you leave. But it looks like 
this relationship it didn't work out and now you're moving on and you're gonna have yourself another a spiritual time out which is the same as this from this that has you going here this queen ain't playing so this is why you're leaving you got fed up you can see things for what they are and you're not having it so looks like you got an offer coming in from this page and like I said this could be a date coming in of someone new offering you lunch dinner you know his master of his emotions super magical very like dynamic he's a head turner so he'll have people looking at him once he come into the room but it's showing you as the empress this is the most powerful woman in the whole deck so if your uh, empress or that king is going to take you to empress status wow it shows you've been working your tail off to get to this empress status and it looks like spirit's going to bless it with this opportunity coming in from spirit you knew something was missing so you're going after what that what that is and it's spiritually blessed it's a magical blessed situation for you so you will get there you will find happiness okay this is who you really are this is the life you're meant to live to live and this is where you're going okay so thank y'all so much for your time and your attention Aries I appreciate you so very much blessings blissfulness peace and love bye y'all